Hello, my name is Tracy Allen and I want to welcome you to Cooking with Some Friends. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. I'm getting supper ready and I've got some potatoes on cooking. Um, I've cut those up in small pieces because I'm gonna mash those up. And I've got my pan set up to make my gravy here in a minute for the chicken, but I'm going to make um, some chicken fried chicken and it's similar to the recipe that you would get the at Cracker Barrel. So I have a mixture of flour and um, salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder and then some um, buttermilk and water mixed, and then three large chicken breasts, you can do four if you want to, that I've um, pounded so they're kinda even, and then I patted those dry. And so I'm gonna add salt and pepper to the chicken breasts, and then I'm gonna dip them in flour, back in the uh, milk mixture, back in flour, and then put them in my hot oil. Buttermilk. And then back in the flour mixture. I want to make sure my oil was hot. It's not quite there yet. If it was hot, the, the flour would instantly go to the edges. So it's not quite ready for me to do that yet. ahead and salt and pepper the other two chicken breasts. Again, still not quite there, but it's getting close. For my gravy, I have um, some bacon fat that I have put in my pan, and it's about two tablespoons. So I'm gonna heat that up here as soon as my chicken's uh, cooked at least on one side. I don't wanna make my gravy too soon. And then I'll put two tablespoons of flour, mix that in, let that cook for just a minute, and then add a cup of heavy whipping cream to it. I think we're about there. Yeah. You want quite a bit of oil in your pan. This is definitely not a neat process. Maybe it's just not a neat process when I do it. <laughs> you suppose, dear? What? I said this isn't a very neat process, or I said maybe it's just not a neat process when I do it.
cook that until it's golden brown on one side, then I'll flip it and cook the other side. Our chicken fried chicken is done on one side, so I turned it. I've uh, gone ahead and turned the heat on and melted down the bacon fat that is in my other frying pan. So I'm gonna add that two tablespoons of flour to it and stir that in to make the roux. I want to let this cook just for a couple of minutes. Actually, just a minute or so. You just don't want that flour taste. this as well. And that's just to taste, so we decide how much salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna just let that cook and thicken up and it's already starting to thicken. Oh. To make our gravy, so we'll go over our chicken fried chicken and our potatoes. Hello, welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. I am getting ready to make some uh, chicken fried steak, and so I have some cube steak, and I have about. Um, a pound and a quarter of cube steak that I'm going to use and I'm going to put that in first a flour mixture that's going to have um, some salt about a half a teaspoon of salt and about the same amount of pepper so I will dredge the cube steak in that and then I'm going to put it in a mixture of a quarter cup of milk that I'm gonna beat two eggs into. And then finally, it will go into some breadcrumbs and then into my oil that's heating. And I'll cook this on both sides until it's browned and cooked. So it'll take it about eight or 10 minutes on each side. And then I will, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, uh, put it on my cookie sheet and put this, cover it with foil and put this in the oven to keep warm while I use the drippings from that to make um, some gravy. And we'll have that over some mashed potatoes and have some broccoli that I've got set out. So that's the process. So I'm going to dredge it in my flour mixture first. Move everything over actually. and milk mixture. And then my breadcrumbs and repeat. I'm just waiting for that oil to get hot enough before I drop this in. Make sure you get a pan large enough for the amount of the steak that you have. And I like chicken fried chicken as well. 
sometimes it's just kind of nice to do something a little different and have steak instead. last one and it's a smaller one and I'll get that in and then I'll come back and show you when it starts to turn. Our cube steak looks good on one side, the pieces that I got in there at first. So I'll show you as I flip it the difference. It's a nice brown. I'll go ahead and let this last one cook a little bit longer and then I'll transfer these to the tray, cover them with foil and put them in a 300 to 325 degree oven while um, I go ahead and make the gravy and I'll show you the gravy. Okay, our chicken fried steak is in the oven, keeping warm. I did our broccoli, our potatoes are mashed. So the only thing I have left is to make the gravy. And I left about two tablespoons or so of the oil in my frying pan from cooking my chicken fried steak. And to that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of flour and some salt and pepper. Stir that in. I have it about on a medium heat. Let that flour cook for just a minute. And then I'm going to pour in two cups of milk. And you can use just milk. You can do part half and half if you want to. It just makes it a little richer. this until it thickens and then we'll serve it over our chicken fried steak and our mashed potatoes. Thanks for joining us for this session of Cooking with Some Friends. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And find us on Facebook at Cooking with Some Friends.